first, let's get a haircut. gravitated towards that's my jam at the moment yeah I mean good I think to, to me that's my jam is you know one of the strongest ones on the record it's everything we do in a nutshell you know yeah. so it's just you have to think about is everything being more refined and honed it's like as players especially the guys that write the music yeah. you know me Mike and Dan it's like with Skim Dread it's sort of a joke about it there's a song like called Doom Riff we do where literally the groove changes every eight bars. Yeah. So you change. Yeah. Change. I, quite, I quite like that. I like that. But to do that and have to come up with something that's so chopped and different, you can't yeah. just keep doing that no. because you know you you want to sit into a pocket and you want to try these things because like I keep saying we've done those before we'll probably get back to it at some point so it's a little bit more mix mash computer wise and built in the studio so this record <laughs> Phoenix all of the songs on it were definitely we paid attention to make sure that we could pull it off as a band whether we had two you know three members or not plus yeah. we went to Rancho de Luna which I don't think you could go in there like we did before with like oh we got some riffs that go you know it's like you got to come in there armed like with songs you know. <laughs> was that, did it take a while to record them, or once you kind of had an idea, we go in and just went in? No, I mean it was. We were there five days, and we got all the basic tracks done, all the music tracks, and then uh, Chad took it to his place and did the vocals and some solo stuff. Yeah. Um, but it went well. I mean, it looks cool. And, Thank you. Um, the song's great, and Thank from you. what I've heard of the album. Uh, no, and then we're nearly there. We're nearly there. I mean, how is it just those four tracks that you put in tonight's set list? Um, yeah, uh, I think we've got another one in um, as well. Um, we are. Um, it's kind of like I mean, this is the way things that work these days. You sort of drip feed songs before a record comes out, and we're we're, uh, we're doing that. There's more coming, but I'm, I'm sort of leaving it. There's, there's so much older material I want to get in the set as well to try and keep yeah. everybody happy. That I'm sort of leaving it to the songs that are out there already. For the most part. Wicked. Dude. Thank you. It's great seeing you again. Yeah, Thank definitely, you. man. Yeah, um, yeah so you, what did you, you burst into his dressing room while he's doing it. Um, yeah, uh, you know, I know that there's a lot of there's a lot of people out there who are attracted to Frank Turner, who think he's just you know the best and most handsome guy out there. And I figured, what a better way for, for me to make some money on tour than to take some naked pictures of him and sell them on the internet. Um, Does he sign them afterwards? I've been making, you know, being on a punk rock tour in general. I come home with dozens of dollars every tour, but this one's really been able to just propel me into a new stratosphere of income and I've been um, I've just been um, I've just been exploiting Frank Turner and his nakedness and just taking pictures of him and the line the line has been out the door so that was Bristol I had a lot of fun there um, I was gonna do some more stuff but it was just pouring with rain the second day we went so I didn't get to do as much as I wanted to but that was CKY Frank Turner homeless gospel choir and Skin Dread. There were snippets if you want to see the proper uh, interviews, you can just check out the link. Not, not much a link, but there's other videos. In the, in the, in, well, in the video folder, so if you dig it, go, go check them out. They're really wicked. Uh, next video, I'm gonna do, 
I might do my radio station actually, I might give you guys a tour of that because that's pretty wicked and I have a lot of that. Some of you might not even know that I have a radio show. So I'll give you a tour of that and that'll be next week.